Hello garden friends. Today we'll be talking about plants. Plants, like people, have structures or parts that help them to survive, grow, and reproduce. We'll be talking today about flowers. Flowers make seeds. Flowers are a really important structure of a plant and they are amazing. So let's look at some different flowers. And I want you to notice and observe while we're looking at these flowers the different shapes and sizes and colors that flowers come in. If we look at these flowers, what's the same or different about these three flowers? They're all the same color, but are they the same shape? Are they the same size? Do you think they smell the same? Let's look at a few others. Now here's a flower that's actually the same flower, but different color, right? And look over here, we have similar colors, but very different flowers. But all of these flowers have the same job, and that is to attract pollinators. All these beautiful smells and, and colors aren't to attract people, they're to attract bees and butterflies and birds, hummingbirds. And there's also white flowers. White flowers tend to attract moths and bats because they really stand out at nighttime. Here's a few more. Now these are a similar color, but what's different about them? And I wonder if they have the same amount of petals, even though their petals are sort of the same color. And are they the same size, the petals? These ones are very, very different. And here's a, these flowers, even though they all look very similar, daisy kind of flowers, they're all different colors. I wonder if they attract different pollinators. These ones are all purple, as you see, but very, very different flowers. Let's take a close look at this one because it has some structures that you can really see. So remember we talked about how the flower is trying to attract the pollinators over. When the bee lands on the flower, like this flower, it picks up a little bit of pollen and when it goes to the next flower, the pollen falls off and that's how things get pollinated. You can see the little pollen dust that has fallen off of our, you can see there where all the pollen came from. When we look at this one, you can really see the stigma and the stamen, and I'll show you a picture at the end, um, of the structures uh, that the flower has. And if we turn this flower over, we can see the sepals and this flower also has some nice parts that we can see, including it has some areas here which sort of tell, her, tell the pollinator where to land. But if we look down here, we can see at the bottom of this flower, once it gets pollinated, the pollen travels down that pistil to the ovals down here, which has the eggs. I'm going to open that up because you can actually see them. They're very tiny, little tiny white eggs, which will become the seeds. And if you open that up, you can see them inside there. It's pretty amazing. If you have a magnifying lens, this is a, a really good thing to look at through a magnifying lens. Even just looking at flowers through a magnifying lens is amazing. It gives you a nice close up view of your flower. So next time you go for a walk, whether it's in your backyard, at school, or a park, take a look at all the flower, amazing flowers you could see. And did you know that you eat flowers? When you eat an artichoke, you're actually eating a flower. Broccoli, cauliflower, also flowers. And flowers give us fruit. Here's some things that we get from flowers. So this flower right here turns into a strawberry. You can see where the flower used to be right there. And this yellow, little tiny yellow flower turns into a tomato. This sweet smelling flower right here grows up to be an orange. If you'd like to learn some more about plants and flowers, here's some of my favorite books. This one's called From Seed to Plant, and it has some really great illustrations in here about flowers and the structures of a flower. Another one is a fruit is a suitcase for a seed. And this one called the reason for a flower. So I hope next time you are out, please enjoy looking at flowers. They're amazing.